<laughs> Here it is. Heal five hearts when killing a monster. That's actually kind of good though for dungeons. I can imagine like clearing a room of like 15 mobs and that's like 75 health. That's eh, eh, it's not that great. But you know, it adds up over time. I don't know. It's like the equivalent of like a couple ticks of healing. Boom. This person is killing my mobs. You better not be... You. It appears that you are stream snapping. What are you doing? Stop stream snapping! I just got a nice just a mosquito! What? What? <laughs> what the hell? What? What is my RT? Why do I have a digestive for school? What is that? <laughs> what the hell is... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't even need that. Like, why? Why did the game decide to give me that? I don't understand. I wanted a tarantula talisman. What is that? Let's go! There it is. Thank you, RNG meter. Ah, satisfaction has been achieved. We have done it. We got a talisman. Now we just need Wand of Restoration, Zombie Artifact, Large Slayer Sack, Red Claw Artifact. That's what I have on my list right now. You are a much more formidable foe than the first day, that's for sure. Are you healing? He's healing? Oh, I was about to call you. Sure you were. I have almost completed my research. However, I need a few extra components. These ones are going to be tougher to obtain, though. You have to defeat mighty, mighty opponents. The first ingredient I need, I need it. Splendid. And now I need a couple more components. The next one is a lumino fiber. Only the strongest of blazes can create those. And there is a terrifying blaze in the Northwest. If you can defeat them, I'm sure you'll obtain a lumino fiber. So speaking of this um, extremely rare and difficult to get item, I have one. So here's what happened. I was on HS Fearless' stream. I was chilling, I was mining gravel, doing my own thing. And then somebody in the chat tells him to do dailies. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I should do dailies too. I go to dailies and there's a rescue mission at the town board that rewards alumino fiber. Now it's actually kind of funny what happened here because I didn't know how to do the rescue quest. So HS Fearless ended up helping me with how to do it. Unfortunately, the music he had going in the background was copyrighted. So I can't show the audio, but I was in the call with him as he was streaming, showing me how to get there. I was showing him on discord cause I wasn't actually playing. So he was teaching me how to do the rescue quest. <laughs> it was it. So anyway, I have alumino fiber. So let's just, thanks. I almost have all the components I need now. Give a leather cloth. Why is the lumino fiber number two out of three? Okay, at least I have leather cloths. I only got two of them now. There we go. There's a rough barbarian going by the name of Duke X. He owns all the leather cloth on this island. Find him and you'll find the items. Our entire stash of sulfur got stolen. I have no idea how they did it. The queen is warning me against hasty conclusions, but enough is enough. We cannot let the barbarians trespass our borders without retaliation. My scouts told me they cited barbarian activities in the north near the Forgotten Skull. Let's meet again there and be prepared for combat. So here's the funny part. I don't think I'm ready for Kudra. That's what this is for those that don't know. But we got the Lumino Fiber part of the quest done, which is probably the most annoying part. So technically I don't have to kill Ashfang ever again on, well, I never did. I just did the rescue quest, but I never have to get a Lumino Fiber again, unless I want to fire Veil Wand, which I kind of do. So the thing is, I don't know what the minimum requirements are for doing a Kudra fight. Like, can I just do it chat? Or am I going to get yelled at for being carried? I don't know. That's the problem. I'm not sure what counts as a carry in this case. You could do Kudra. You can be a cannon player. A hype mage is needed in every party, so it wouldn't be a carry. So if I just used my highest effective max HP set, which is obviously Shaman Sword and um, Mastiff all set, you know, Silky for damage. And then I just brought 
out the shaman sword if i did that i would have 45k effective max hp because no defense that's more than enough for kudra all right fair enough i guess we're doing it um this fight is gonna get changed so much in the coming months like what you're about to watch as a viewer of the video probably isn't even close to what kudra is right now i predict they're gonna change the fight up a ton oh boy there it is chat the first ever first ever kudra let's see just how in over my head i am with this the goal is just to get as much damage as possible from a cannon and to not die those are the only two goals if i achieve that i did not get carried part of kudra is the mobs to spawn during the fight not just the cannon i do have voodoo doll but then again i'm not in mage gear anymore so it's not gonna help oh yeah what's my uh let's set pet to this Oh, the cat scared me. The Kudra's coming! The lava kraken! Here he is. Mana bomb incoming. Uh-oh. Um. Disarmed? Hey, I did a thing. Haha. <laughs> oh, ow. Oh, can I shoot you with these? I can. I can shoot the mobs with that. That's actually convenient. Forgot about that. It's reassuring that I can shoot the mobs with cannon. Kudra down. Let's go. What did we get? Aurora leggings. Yo. Chat, do I take it? There it is. We got our first ever Kudra teeth. Why is the singular item called Kudra teeth? Wouldn't it be Kudra tooth? You know what? I'm not going to argue. Well, there you go. First Kudra killed. It's got bad attributes, but honestly, who cares? Like... Am I really going to get 128 Aurora leggings and combine them to make like... No, I'm not. The Kudra is coming! The lo- Up! You know, I Woo! think this right here is like what it looks like to see Minecraft's engine just pushed to its complete limitation. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, like, I think this is that. I think this is as far as it goes, unless it's modded. Because, like, <laughs> it's just funny seeing the poor game chug. <laughs> like, this is, this is it, man. I did 51k damage this time, chat. Not bad. Crimson leggings. This is a big moment, actually. This is, like, by far the best melee set that I have access to right now. Oh, bro. Crimson leggings, dude. Okay. This just got serious. I like how Ellie was just looking up. And then she just <laughs> falls into the lava and dies. Honestly, I think the devs just forgot to program half of the animation <laughs> that was supposed to happen there. Mana like, bomb yeah. will kill everyone yeah, yeah. in 30 seconds. <laughs> I guess... Uh, That's an aggressive guess, warning. Uh, no subtlety, I guess. Terror boots. I don't want it. We have three out of four of our new mage set. Shadow goggles shall remain. And then crystal armor is going to get demoted to the museum, unfortunately. You know, I don't have a full set bonus with crystal. So honestly, I probably could just swap it out now. But I need necromancer brooches. Also, we have like two minutes left in stream. So, like, I don't know what the hell Bye. I'm doing. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm back for another stream, and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. You look like a nurse doctor guy in the movie thing. That phrasing is interesting. Big progression moment. So, you guys might recognize this as my Out of Dungeons mage setup. Three Forge Crystal with Necrotic Reforge with Shadow Goggles. Now, I could put Loving on the chest plate. I'm aware. I haven't got one yet. We're going to fix that. But the thing about crystal armor is I've been using it as my mage set because the full set bonus is kind of trash <laughs> because you can actually get a debuff in intelligence for being in low light. But if you have three forts, you don't get the full set bonus and you just get the massive amount of base intelligence per armor piece. And it's an epic armor set. So it gets plus 120 intelligence per necrotic reforge. But what I failed to realize at the end of last stream was 
the I was comparing the intelligence to something like Aurora. But little did I know, the chest plate has the highest intelligence out of any crystal piece. It varies depending on the piece. So 180 intelligence for the boots, 220 for the leggings, 240 for the chest plate. Whereas Aurora, which I have two pieces of so far, gives 275. That's with Necrotic to be fair, but it gives the same amount per piece. So this is a much bigger buff than I thought it was gonna be. So pretty much permanently going to be replacing these two crystal pieces with Aurora pieces. At the very end of last stream, I got leggings and boots. I enchanted them, put Necrotic on it. We're still looking to get a chest plate, but I also realized there are two gemstone slots per Aurora piece, which means we can put two fine sapphire gemstones per piece. And I'm going to get a third, so that's a total of six gemstones oh by the way the buff in health is absolutely freaking ridiculous look at this 280 for aurora leggings versus 75 for crystal defense 75 versus 50 so aurora is a massive buff as a matter of fact it's actually better than wise dragon in every single way so yeah this is a massive massive buff i did not realize how significant it was at the time when i went up to the town board and saw a rescue quest with illumino fiber as the reward huge absolutely freaking massive for progressing progress i am demoting these two pieces of crystal to the chest once we get a chest plate i'm putting this in the museum crystal will no longer be necessary Ooh. Yeah, we're not doing that for a while, if ever. Maybe we'll do it at some point, but yeah, chat's right. That is brutal. Okay, so screw that. Uh, scratch that. Forget about it. No gemstones. But we don't need no freaking gemstones. We're already getting almost 300 intelligence per piece. I have 2,800 intelligence with a sheep. 2,800 intelligence. That's ridiculous. That is an insane amount of smart. Also, there's a weird like tiered bonus for this armor set that I don't quite understand. And I don't know if it's really necessary, but just from like a mage armor standpoint, this is a massive buff. Now, here's the thing. I've also discovered that um, Dreadlord Sword, Bonzo Staff, Voodoo Doll, we're getting to the point where it stops scaling like exponentially with more intelligence. Like, I was thinking to myself, wow, I'm going to be doing like 400k damage per tick. And it, I'm not. It's like 300k maximum, which is great. But like the damage levels off. So we've hit a point where, especially when I get the Aurora chest plate, we're going to need a better weapon. And the other bad thing, this isn't going to help with dungeons. We're still going to have to use Young Dragon. This is really just an out of dungeons thing. It's going to help a lot when it comes to grinding Magma Cube kills. Oh, which speaking of... What just happened? What is that? What are you? What is that? Ah! Yesterday, I thought for a brief moment, it'd be a good idea to grind out magma chunks because I can make one of these, a searing stone. Last stream, I got a gauntlet of contagion, which is one of the best equipment pieces in the game because it essentially makes it so that you just blow up a whole crowd of enemies all at once. Uh, so I wanted to grind 50 magma chunks so I can make a searing stone to put on the gauntlet It's only gonna be like probably plus like four strength because it's on epic instead of legendary like it says here But why not might as well and let's see if I can remember this recipe Oh Searing stone applies the strengthened reforge when combined with equipment. Oh Yeah that's the goods right there. We're going to put it on a Gauntlet of Contagion because why not at this point? Don't you want Mana Reforge on Gauntlet? Is there a Mana Reforge for equipment? I mean, the thing is Gauntlet's also good with an Archer setup, which is affected by strength. I, I'm not aware, but isn't Waxed better? Waxed gives you crit chance, which to be fair, Waxed could pair well with a Terminator. More crit chains. Shiny prism glistening. Hmm. So in other words, should I just wait on that? Keep the searing stone and then put it on a molten piece, which I know 
I want strength on because that's the whole reason why you use molten. Get a mana pool, life regen, gauntlet. Bro, attributes are dumb. I'm sorry. I'm not combining 16 gauntlet of contagions for like tier four. <laughs> no, tier three of an attribute. That's stupid. I think the attribute system needs to be adjusted. It's just, it's frankly just bad. I'm sorry. Glistening gives like five intel. Mm. You know what? Whatever. We're just going to keep the standing stone. We're not going to use it.